school week in Boise mm -hmm. for wildland firefighting recruits who are in the classroom taking part in the Southwest Idaho Fire Training Course. Today, they moved outside. The classroom was outside. That's always a welcome place to be. It is. In the Boise National Forest for some live fire training exercises where instructors say they will gain the most experience. KTV photojournalist Tyson White has more on the fire line and the story. Moving, 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 moving. Today is a swift light fire exercise. And we're going to be doing a prescribed burn. If you have water in your line, the fire's not going to burn through it. You know, you want to train like you fight, so we try to put some fire on the ground because it's better to uh, give them the whole experience versus a mock exercise. It'll be a really good experience to watch the true rookies get to finally see something burn and learn how to dig line and use some firing tools that we use to do back burns and burnouts on wildfires. And every one of our recruits have the desire of being wildland firefighters. They're gonna get that instruction in the classroom. And then most important, on the job training, suppressing fires. And this is gonna be the building block for their future careers. It's a really hard business to get complacent in and uh, it's something that will constantly challenge you in different ways. Probability of ignition, 30%. Break. They'll have to locate the fire, and then when they get there, they'll assess the scene for hazards, uh, which typically may include uh, dangerous trees, uh, material that may roll on a steep slope once the fire burns the vegetation. If you're the first one to roll up, you're going to size that fire up. You're going to describe the fire behavior. So it's jumping into something that you don't know, something that can be really terrifying and scary, but at the same time, you have a solid crew that has your back, and that makes all the difference. Oh, when the back is needing some help and we're just going to get them caught up. I'm hoping that it's going to give me the tools to be a career firefighter. And a lot of this is seasonal work and so I think it's easy for people to kind of lose sight of the main goal but I would love to establish myself as a wildland firefighter for the next 30 years of my life and move up and help shape future firefighters come in 10, 20, 30 years down the road.